I'm Jamie Kalb, an application engineer at Go Engineer, and this is a tutorial on using linked text for part markings. I'll take you through how to create text in a SOLIDWORKS part, link it to a configuration, and control it from a design table. If you want a part to have raised or indented text, you can create it with text in a sketch and an extrude or extruded cut feature. First, start a sketch on the face you want the text on. Sketch a line or curve for the text to follow. This will make precisely locating the text much easier. Once you have your geometry sketched, make sure it's construction geometry so that the curves themselves are excluded from the feature. Next, click the text button in the sketch tab of the command manager. Choose your geometry as the guide curve, then type the text you want in the box below. You can change the font style with these options, and unchecking use document font will allow you to change the font and font size. Press the green check to accept the text, then exit your sketch and choose an extrude or extruded cut. And we have our raised or indented text. To link the text to the model's configuration, we'll edit the sketch then double-click on the text itself to edit it. This button below the text field allows you to link text to a property, in this case, the configuration name. Now, when I exit the sketch, the text shows the name of the current configuration. If I create a new configuration and give it a new name, we'll see the text change to that new name. Now let's take it one step further by creating a design table that controls our configurations. That way, we'll be able to easily create new configurations and control the text for each one. We create a design table by going to Insert, Table, Design Table. Accept the default options, and you'll see an Excel table pop up with rows named by the configurations and columns labeled by feature dimensions. We can edit these dimensions on a per-configuration basis. Filling out the text in the next row in the table creates a new configuration. I'm creating cube, tall, and short configurations by altering the height. Clicking back in the graphics area updates the model, and we see our new configurations added. We now have a table that controls several versions of our part with slight variations and marks each one with a unique name physically on the part. I hope this video has shown you how to use linked text to manage markings for part configurations. Once again, I'm Jamie Kalb with Go Engineer, and this has been an introduction to linked text in SOLIDWORKS.